When considering following a meaningful opportunity, what comes to mind is one of the first roadblocks. So when considering following a meaningful opportunity, what comes to mind as your first roadblock in terms of following through and why? It's a difficult question, that one, but when a, when a meaningful opportunity presents itself to you, what is one of your first roadblocks in terms of saying, yes, that's an opportunity I'm going to pursue? Grant, I'm going to ask you to come forward and talk to this one if you're comfortable. And he is. Welcome, <laughs> welcome Grant. Welcome, Grant. Thank you, Mr. Table Topics Master, Toastmasters and guests. Roadblocks. I think it's my own self-doubt. Now, that may appear strange to you for your incoming president to admit to self-doubt, but we all have these. We all have these hesitations, these feelings about ourselves that we're not quite good enough or that we don't have the ability to take that next step up. And recently I had an opportunity presented to me to change roles within my, my organisation. And I felt hesitant about this. I felt I didn't have the skills to take on that challenge. And it really required a lot of people saying to me, yes, we think that you're the right person. And I have to say, I really appreciated all that, all that <laughs> good positive uh, comments that were coming in my direction. I think that there's nothing like having people telling you that you've got some skills. Because in myself, I did feel those doubts. I, I didn't have the technical knowledge and I was, I was a bit concerned that I would crash and burn. Yeah. But I had, enough, I had enough support, not only from my managers, but also from my peers, to push me on to accept that role. And I'm very happy that I did do that. Thank you, Mr. Tosman. I made this.